Hi guys, Joe Butterfield with Competitive Horsemanship. So in this video, the overall concept is understanding the state of your horse's mind. All right. After that, you'll see in the video me sacking out the horse. That's the old terminology, sacking out a horse. The new terminology, desensitizing your horse. Okay. Number two. Some old terminology would be don't let your horse pull away from you. All right, in my terminology, it's getting yourself on the right angles to control your horse, which the new terminology for that would be lateral lunging. Watch your horse's eyes. That's the old terminology. The new terminology would be read your horse's expressions, understand his mental state of mind. All right. Causing a draw. Draw your horse to you mentally and physically. Then you can start to drive your horse. We'll talk about that in the video. What is training? All right. If you Siri it, Siri explains the action of teaching a person or animal a type of skill or behavior. Hmm. The dictionary defines behavioral as a mental state of extreme athletes, which whether it be horses or the Tom Brady's of the world. We'll talk a lot about the mental state of winners. All right. And last but not least, I'm going to wrap this uh, up and let's get to the video, but I'm going to leave you with something to dwell on. Ray Hunt left us with one of these thoughts. The thought was when you're working on the start, you're actually working on the finish. And when you're working on the finish, you're actually working on the start. So dwell on that for a little while. Let's get to the video on Paparelli 7 Games is what I used. So you can tell this horse, I've just hauled her for the first time. She's three years old, away from home. You can see her, she's kind of rubbing on me. She's gotten wet. She's getting kind of worked up. So. For me, if I was just to hop on this horse right now, is she's going to end up pulling on my hands, kind of riding me rather than me riding her, and then I just end up to teach her to lean on the bridle. So this is where the games come in. Um, the first and foremost game for me is getting these horses sacked out. So this right here, to some of you, when you first get with your young horses, you like to call it sacking out. Well, that's what this is. This is sacking them out. But most people, when they sack them out, they tie them hard and fast to the fence. And then when you do that, they pull back. It pulls on the nerves behind their ears. Now they're trying to rear over backwards. And if they don't manage to break your snap or your halter, now they've just learned to just struggle until three or four seconds go by and they lunge forward into the fence, blah, blah, blah. So that brings into angles on a horse. Why you need to know what are good angles on a horse to where you can pull their head towards you and get their hip to go the other way. Because you're trying to get the hip to stay out from behind their shoulders so they don't have power. It's just like steer wrestling. When you see them guys bulldog and they throw the steers down, they're hip checking them steers. They grab their heads, they pull the heads over underneath their over their hip bone, and they stick their hip in them, and it sends their the steer's hip away from them. Now the power is away from the steer, and they can throw them down. So I just wanted you to know them couple of things here. When we first start doing the games, is to know your angles so you can control your horse so when you do this as if they were to go let's say let's just say she run by me here I can be on the angle and control her right so that's all about angles when you want to sack them out and not have them tied to the fence so if she went to run by me I would be on a good angle to where I can get two eyes. It's all about keeping two eyes. All right. So now I'm just going to go on with the game. She's obviously now she's 
kind of in here. You can see her. She's starting to come down a little bit. Now I'm going to push some things around. So when I ride my horses, I want to be able to control their hips. So see now, she's assuming what I want. I haven't asked yet. I'm still rubbing. See how she's starting to move? So I'm just going to play the friendly game and rub. So if I was to put it to the camera here, I'm just going to rub. I haven't asked her to start yet, but even though she's moving, I got to keep rubbing. I haven't started yet. Still haven't started yet. I'm rubbing. Now I start. Move them hips around. Try and keep the front end still is the goal someday, and then rub it to a stop. That's the hind quarters. Now let's do the fore quarters. See how that Philly's mental attitude when I'm playing these games has settled right down. She's thinking what to do. Now let's see if I can push her straight sideways. Nice. Now let's see if I can push her backwards. right and left side. So just for this video's sake, um, I'm not gonna drag it on too long for these little tips that I'm giving you, but then after what I want to explain to you before I shut this off, you gotta teach your horse, you gotta draw your horse to you for the first while. You kinda gotta get them on top of you. You gotta get them liking you. If the horse is wanting away from you, that's going to come into when you're riding and they're going to be rather than you're going to have to hold them because they're really not comfortable with you and their nature is is to run and get away from you. So at first and all the little things that we do, we're trying to create a draw. We kind of want them on top of us for a while. But once we start getting a draw, then we're going to start driving. Now we're going to start driving our horse. If you can't drive them, until you get a draw. Otherwise, though, when you when you go to drive like that, they just take off. I'm driving the hindquarters. I'm driving her backwards. Driving her back. Got to be straight. All right. Get your draw, then you can drive them. We'll talk more about this in another video. But for right now, now look at how I've unloaded this, this three-year-old, hasn't been away from home, her neck's lowered, her eyes have gotten soft, she's not wanting to get with the other horses, she'll be really pleasant now to ride, rather than the opposite, where she's got her head up in the air, dancing around, not listening to anything that your body's asking of her, now you're just having to hold on to her with your reins, and your body means nothing. If you guys got any comments or questions, leave a like and a comment down below on the YouTube channel, Competitive Horsemanship. I'm at, on Instagram, Competitive Horsemanship, Facebook, Competitive Horsemanship.